Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are talking about my lover. Uh, this is an open source 3D graphics framework. It's designed mostly to do VR, uh, but you can use it for generalized 3D graphics in general. Basically, if you are looking for a lightweight framework for creating 3D applications, this is one of the easiest ones I have ever seen. And this one, I just learned about it on Hacker News. Don't know how long it's been around. Obviously, it is inspired by Love. Uh, that is a Lua-based 2D graphics framework. I don't think they actually have anything to do with each other other than you know an inspiration and a common naming convention. And the funny thing is, I always found love to be a stupid name. First off, I hate trying to write this on a Western keyboard. And second, Googling for love is tricky. Googling for lover is brilliant. It's easy to find. It's got a great pun, as in inspired by love, used for VR. I love that name. So anyway, so this framework is for those people who like to write code. It is entirely Lua driven. It uses Lua JIT, the just-in-time compiler, to make it as fast as possible. The entire framework is under one megabyte in size, super easy to work with. And if you're using VR, it has all of the VR stuff you need out of the box. Uh, stereo rendering, VR controllers, hand tracking, haptics, spatial audio, 3D physics, PBR or physically based rendering, uh, materials, uh, sign distance fields, fonts uh, or SDF fonts, sorry, uh, multiplayer and more. It's also very beginner friendly. Just write a couple of lines of code, drop it in and you are ready to go. People are using it for game jams, commercial project tools, education and so on more. It is virtual. It's open source under a very nice license. Uh, you see here it works with the Vive, the Index, the Oculus Quest, Quest 2, Rift, Mixed Reality from Windows MR devices. Pico Neo 2 Leap Motion and using keyboard and mouse. So if you want to just make 3D applications, you can. In terms of platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and web. So everything, as long as you're not an Apple user. Uh, and it supports OpenVR, OpenXR, OpenOVR, VR API, Pico SDK, and WebXR. In terms of how simple code goes, how's that for simple? That and if you've used Love in the past, uh, this will look really familiar in terms of syntax. Again, it's very heavily inspired by Love, even though they're completely separate projects. But you see how simple the code is to get going. If you want to go ahead and grab it, literally just come on here, download it, uh, grab the binaries you want, Windows, Mac, or Linux. So it does run on Mac, by the way, just not iOS. And there's even an Android APK out there, and the source code is available as well. We'll get back to that in just a second. Basically, just download and extract out the folder. So you can see here, there is the uh, stuff extracted out. There is the Lover EXE and the DLLs it depends on. And that is it. That is all you need. Now, next up, you probably want to grab some kind of a sample. Uh, I grab samples from uh, their uh, documentation. I'll show you where to get that in a second. Uh, so you see here, we are at the GitHub page for this guy. It is under the MIT code license. The source code itself is very simple and straightforward, uh, almost entirely written in C. If you want to jump in and understand how the code base works, this project is under the MIT license a very liberal license. Another thing that I find kind of hilarious about this is each of the releases has a different name. So the April 11th, they released Government Goop. And we go through some of the releases. We had Government Goop. We had uh, Maximum Moss. We had uh, Very Velociraptor. Uh, mushroom Detector, they have just brilliant uh, product release names. I actually appreciate them. The Ginormous Giraffe. Uh, and so on, the Hangry Goose, etc. But if you want to grab the examples we're going to look at right now, there's another repository available. I will, of course, throw this in the linked article down below. If you if you clone down Lover Docs, just git clone this repository right here, and you're going to have a number of samples to get you up and started. So that's what we've got here. So we've got the Love Lover stuff extracted out here. And then on this folder, we have the Lover Docs. And you can see there, there is an examples folder right there. And then literally just grab the example you want to check out. So let's start with something that looks kind of good. We'll go into lighting, PBR material. So we're going to see a PBR material in action. What you do is just grab that whole folder. The key thing is it has to have a main.lua. That's your entry point to your application. Uh, but basically take the directory with the main.lua in it, drop it onto the Lover EXE, and boom you have an application. Now, what you're going to notice here is this application is uh, stereo rendering. So this is set up for VR. If you ran this on your VR headset, you would see this in 3D. That is what you have the two rendering views going on. You can actually disable this in code. So if you want to check this out and just create 3D desktop applications, that is an option you have. Uh, so that's really kind of the extent of it. So here we're going to go. Um, I think I have it open in code already. Yeah, here we go. So I open the entire uh, example structure up in code. Here is intro. Hello world. And inside hello world, you can see the simple main.lua. And this is the extent of your code. You're implementing the draw callback function. This is called every pass through the game loop when it's time to draw graphics. And what you're doing is each frame, you draw the words hello world on screen. So let's go ahead and run that one. Again, running it is simply a matter of spawning it over here. So that's intro, 
hello world, drop that on lover.exe. And there you have stereoscopic VR happy hello world. And there's a number of examples here. So come back here. We've got some here, for example, for physics. Jump in here. So let's do um, wrecking ball physics. Sure. Oh, so I grab the folder right here. Just drag it over like so. And there you can see the end result. And you have mouse and keyboard support, by the way, if you want. So you can see the physics in action. Ta-da. And in terms of the code behind that, uh, so that was physics. Let's drag on down here. Physics, wrecking ball, main.lua. So here you can see the code that is required to do that. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Again, it's a series of, of callbacks. So at the beginning of your game cycle, you have a load callback. Um, and then you have the draw calling each frame. You have update to update your game world. Uh, and then you have a series of local functions like make rope that is called probably during the init or the load phase somewhere around here. Make where, where are you called? It's going to be here somewhere anyway. So uh, very straightforward. You're basically just implementing a series of callback functions at the various point in your game's life cycle. Again, if you have used the love framework at any point in time, you will, you'll be immediately comfortable with this. So you can basically take what you know from working in love, but make 3D worlds and VR apps really simply. So we're going to head back on over here. And by the way, I've been talking about love nonstop. I'm kind of just assuming you know what the heck I'm talking about. If you don't, it's an awesome 2D framework using the Lua game engine. And again, the code style is going to look very, very, very straightforward. So there is their version of Hello World. Very similar. Obviously, they're different projects, but one is definitely inspired by the other. If you're interested in learning more about Love, or if you're interested in learning about Lover and you've never used Lua before, I've got you covered. I actually did a tutorial series some time back, uh, Game Dev for Complete Beginners, and... Uh, I started off completely with a Lua-based tutorial to get you up and running with Lua. The nice thing about the Lua scripting language, it's not for everybody, but it's one of those scripting languages that you can quite literally learn in a weekend. So if you've never used Love before, or never used Lua before, and you want to check out Love or Lover, uh, if you want to check out Love, just come on in here and run through the uh, Lua tutorials part I did, and then you can head on over and you are ready to go with Lover. Just basically come on in, download it, and you are good to go. Also, if you're interested, they have a Slack channel uh, available, and also you come in here, they have solid documentation to teach you basically everything. And all of those examples we looked at, so for example, the Hello World example, you can run it right in here, uh, see all of the examples in action in the browser, uh, like so. And then you've got, um, you know, details on, you know, how to make your first application, how to run, you know, basically we already showed you how to do this, how to create a new project. And again, it's all super simple. Basically, all you're doing is creating a folder. Inside of that folder, you create main.lua and then all the other assets you need, any other libraries, whatever. But main.lua is the only requirement. And inside of that, you write your code. And then you're, you're implementing a series of uh, callback functions, update, uh, love, draw, sorry, load, update, and draw. Really about as simple as it gets for working with this kind of stuff. And you're gonna see there, there is, um, there's a good swath of uh, features in here. Uh, everything is nicely organized into different areas. Everything is well documented. So if you need to have model loading, you have model loading code uh, in place. You can load in uh, GLTF files, no problems at all uh, with a single line of code like what you see here. Uh, definitely an interesting project and one that I recommend you check out. By the way, it is available at lovr.org. Uh, again, it is also an open source project under the MIT source code license, heavily inspired by love. Another framework that I really appreciate. Uh, and again, if you want to check all this out, I do have this tutorial series to get you up and running, which will be linked in the linked article down below. So if you want to check out Lover, if you wanted to do just kind of some simple code, create 3D stuff on screen, it doesn't get much easier than this, as long as you don't hate Lua. And I know some people out there absolutely despise Lua, but for everyone else, it's a great tool to play around with. And you'll be amazed at and just like a little bit of code, as you can see from here, playing audio, two lines of code, well, four if you count the callback. Um, hand tracking as another three or four lines of code, creating a skybox, one line of code. So you can do some really advanced 3D stuff, loading a 3D model, one line of code, drawing it, one line of code. It's really awesome how simple they've made. Some relatively complex tasks, to be honest. So uh, if you are interested in checking that out, it is available at lover. I think I said org, right? Yeah, .org, a fully open source project on a variety of different platforms. Definitely a cool one to check out and one I thought you should be aware of. So that is Lover. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Oh, also let me know what you think of the name. I, I think this is really clever. Again, inspired by love, used for VR. 
put together, you've got a new lover. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.